Hello, hello to all the amazing people. The Niamh here with some more Library of Ruina gameplay. We are level 55 out of 60. Ah, are we getting to the end of the game? I don't know. Uh, last time we unlocked the very nice page. Mm, has a very good thing. Hana for all. When gaining strength, endurance, protection, stagger protection. Uh, through combat pages give the same status effect to random other allies as well. I like that kind of a lot. So I grabbed Auguri Kick here, which lets me get uh, 3 strength for myself and somebody else to get the maximum out of it. I took 2 <laughs> and I let's try Ominous Power. So in theory with Brace Up we should be able to draw a lot of cards each turn. And if we spend all our light and lose all the light on the start of the next turn, hopefully we draw some of these so we can like play them again and like not go dry. Also, it gives us a very strong start if you need it. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's a little bit clunky, I think, but I want to start like experimenting with these a little bit. Other than that, I took uh, my color health power as standard. I took Messenger from Jan, so let's try playing around with that as well. Um, and uh, Fervor, I guess. I didn't know what to put last thing. I guess straight up power is always good. Other than that, we got Celestial still here, which uh, Spear, which uh, draws a page on use, which is kind of good. And the true trigram formation. This one has a lot of sustain and stuff. It has like this trigram runes, three, four trigrams, which like do all kinds of nice things. So yeah, should be fun. Uh, this is definitely not the final deck I'm gonna be using, but uh, it's gonna be nice for now. Today we're gonna be doing Bina's Abnormality. So we got Bina here. I gave her four trigrams as well and Meow Meow. <laughs> Didn't play with Meow Meow for a while now. And let me see. Well, the purple tier, Chao and Nikolai. We're not playing Alan, so we replaced Aran with Mira and I, I guess. Anyhow, let's go and see. Have you prepared yourself to view the final episode of the Floor of Philosophy story? Oh wait, this is the final? Wait, what? Wow, how? It goes only to five? What's up with that? No, I, I'm not ready for the final episode. Um, <laughs> okay, this will be a long, uh, long run then, I guess. Well... Well, hopefully this is good, because let's go. I don't have health holler here. That, no, we do have. Where do we don't have? We have it here, we have it here. Oh wait, I have four twelve ho hollers. Okay, so Bina doesn't have it. Bina has toughness though, and probably she can pick up a healing from uh, some of these, maybe. This is weird. Why is the final episode the fourth one? Are we gonna unlock everything here? Well, let's go. What happens, happens, right? <laughs> Roland, do you know of the being Angela was modeled after? Nope, she never really told me about who she was based on, and I didn't really want to bother asking further. Angela was created in the image of the person named Carmen. She was one who sought to change the city. Oh, snap! Really? Well, that's an interesting uh, thing. She was modeled after Carmen? Oh! Tum, tum, tum. Oh boy. Hang on, what? You mean the current who recruited people for a quest to cure humanity? She strove to create a world without conflict. To elaborate, her idea of utopia was one in which people did not harm each other and could mutually understand. Well, I agree with that idea 100%. She dreamed of a world where people could dream. Alas, she could never reach that ideal herself, tragically. The fruit of her research could only be born after she sacrificed her life for it. And the head didn't miss that prime opportunity to strike. Of course, her cause was an important offense, even though that was not all. Angela was meant to be a substitute of Carbon. The one who created Angela and carried out the plan. And the one I'm keeping an eye on. He was the same type of individual as I. He merely shouldered the burden of completing the task the one he loved left behind. He never pursued any great cause in a true sense. He was frail yet could not be understood by anyone. It may be that he desperately longed for understanding from another being for that reason. 
So you're saying Angela was made to fill the Carmen Sides hole in his heart? Well, that's kind of selfish. The forbidden endeavor to create someone to look over his fragile self, a cocktail of irony and lingering attachment, self loathing and insanity. The irony of co codependency where the two gravely needed each other but could never be next to one another. The abiding affection for Carmen that compelled him to create a mechanical copy of her, even though there was no real need for such resemblance. The result ended up resembling him more than Carmen, funnily enough. The self-contempt that stemmed from countless contradictions and regrets. And the insanity of neglecting Angela to suffer for an eternity when she was capable of having a mind that is no different from humans. Beautiful, is it not? Well, and... Uh, insane. <laughs> Beautiful, my ass. He was an absolute top-of-the-range nutcase, if what you said is true. Yet, he was a beacon of virtue for some. There is no such thing as good in this world. However, there is only what is perceived as such. It is not up to individual to dare make universal judgment. Right, and I bet he was a spawn of evil to others. Humans are bound to view the world while carrying certain things on their backs. You are no exception, of course. Never having a chance to see my parents, I grew up in the hands of an old woman in the back streets. And I was left alone when she was gone not too long after. Looking for a way to make a living for myself, I jumped into the world of fixers at young age. I had my grand to thank for that, since she taught me how to survive as a fixer before she left. I spent all my time dealing with requests and errands for others, rather than doing anything for myself. In time, I gradually forgot. Was there anything that I could do for myself? I thought as I watched the naked and exquisite facets of the city, should I settle for a life where I won't lack for anything crucial? Will I be happy if I live in the nest? It was when the days of smoke-filled skies and the sense of humans were nearing their end. Oh wait, what? F off, this one's mine to kill. Salvador. You're one snappish kid, aren't you? Wearing an odd mask, too. I said F off. Huh? Try looking at what's in front of you for once. You'll miss the most important things if you're always looking back, don't you know? You're not getting any thanks from me. I wasn't expecting any. It's an interesting back and forth between Roland and Salvador here. And I'm still getting credit for this one's head. What is a young green sprout like you doing here anyway, partaking in this war? It's none of your business. I bet you're here for the regression permit to the nest. And you're here for that too, old fart. I'm a nest resident at birth, so I don't quite need that. The hell are you here for then? You sure are ignorant of the world, kid. Take a look. A batch of I-Corps nest. An entire association has been hired, you see. I frankly don't know what you're fighting for. This smoke admittedly made the city a nasty mess, I'll give you that. But they won't tell us anything beyond that. All we ought to do is go and kill whenever we're ordered to kill. Such are the principles of the fixers and this city as a whole. Say, kid, how many kills have you scored in this war until now? 23. Think your life is worth more than 23 people? No, all I did was strike Adam with my sword so I could live. My life probably isn't worth anything more than one. And yet some higher-ups believe that a handful of this smoke is worth more than tens of thousands of lives. Watch what does the source of the smoke, downright hideous yet expected. <clears throat> you vomit with your mask on, hmm? Filthy thought, you made me queasy as well. What is this thing? You'd better get used to it, this kid kind of scenery. The singularities that keep the city running all have a nasty truth or two hidden from the public eye. Well, we'll be subjected to amnestic treatment now that we've seen this, though this disgust won't go away entirely. Oh really, it won't? What? This was what's behind the splendor of the city? The city could be in motion thanks to this crap? You learned a valuable lesson today, kid. So what did he learn? Show us! Show us! I don't exactly remember the source of the smoke I witnessed that day. But I can't forget the dreadful image of what makes the city a prosperous place. The sickening world itself. They don't realize that their convenience is built on the sacrifice of numerous others. But that's how it usually works. In our world as well. So yeah, wake up. They wouldn't even want to know. Nobody would. 
After the war, I blended back into the city and kept working as a fixer. Numerous people came and went in my life. Countless crises and hardships later, all that remained by my side were the 12 fixers in Charles' office. Get that thing out of my face! <laughs> Angelica, Charles' fixer. Oh, is this how he met his wife? I can almost shed a tear right now. Yes, that's a nasty sleeping habit you have there, mister. I just know that off for a moment, that's all. What are you? Oh, you must be the new one. You know how everyone else who took this request died of all that, right? Why should I begrudge it since during the hours when my soul crushed the depths of my heart, it was seated there beside me. Great, I get to work with a psycho. Oh, don't be like that, Roland. That's your future wife. What the F? It's a passage from a poem I like. It helped me accept the agony rather than suffering, trying to shake it off. Just what kind of augmentation did you get to be so strong? You almost crushed the back of my skull. Oh, she blasted him. Okay. Uh, you aren't any less of a psycho if I'm being honest, mister. I heard you kept that mask on at all times like a creepy psycho. That said, I also heard you're quite skilled. Say, mister, why won't you take your mask off anyway? Don't pry. You're both great one. Let's not cross each other's lines. You know the unspoken rules. No, I don't, mister. Stop with that, mister crap. It's making me feel awkward. The documents say you're older than me, too. And I swear I'm gonna pay you back for hitting me twice before the contract with Charles' office ends. So I'd better be prepared. You mean three times, my good mister sir. Bam! <laughs> oh, but I could have sworn I only got hit twice and then bam, three times. You piece of... I first met Angelica while taking on a case concerning a star of a, ci a, star of a city. It's a pretty much unavoidable to talk with co-workers on a long-term mission. Perhaps I should have kept my silence. Was it because of all my colleagues? No, all the people who died so early and suddenly before I could even call them colleagues that they grew a yearning for something more. Why did I bother opening up to her? I was from the outskirts. To be precise, I was a test subject in a wing, apparently. Angelica. And when they were done experimenting with me, they dumped me in the outskirts. Oh, that's so sad. I don't really remember what kind of experiments I went through, but the horrible feeling still persists. Experiments, that's interesting. Is she the failed first prototype of Angela or something? I don't know. How unfortunate. You're so cold, mister. It's just too banal. Yeah, I guess it really is a cliché story when you put it that way. What about you? Tell me something more about your mask. Focus on work. I started wearing a mask following my grand's advice. The reason was that as a fixer it's important to not let your potential enemies remember your face, if I remember correctly. Well, it seems like uh, his grand was like a very wise person. But now I had to keep my mask on for another reason. I couldn't stand to take it off. I couldn't stand to be open with a clear conscience in the city. The mask became my own enclosed world I couldn't leave. Please, don't take him to that room. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for everything. So please, leave my brother be. Please, let him go. Ah. Dozing off in the middle of a mission, are you? Oh. I don't think you're one to criticize anyone else's sleeping habits, hmm? Hey, hold on, that hurt too much. I still have two more hits to go, and wow, you're just dropping your courtesy because you're hurt. So is that how love relationships are built in Fixer World? By hitting each other on the head? I don't know, not very romantic. I got a little agitated, sorry mister. My childhood must have come back to me while I was asleep. You told me about it before, the part about you having a brother is new to me though. What about you, Rolando? It's about time you told something about yourself. I participated in the smoke war. An acrid smoke covered the whole city for a while thanks to the hot war. Yep, and I saw the source of the smoke with my own two eyes. 
I can't remember what it was anymore, but I still have a feeling that I witnessed something I should have to this day. And the feeling that I'm taking part in something no better than fueling that disgusting origin. It's like something is boiling between me. Copious amounts of agony surround the city. Maybe the reason you're always wearing that mask is... Uh... Heads up, the target is approaching your location. Olivier. Oh, that's the... That's the third dude from the Hana Association, isn't he? What was his voice? Heads up, the target is approaching your location. Back to work, we are almost done with this long mission. The target Angelica and I were after was called Blood Red Knight. She employed silly trickery to kidnap people from the back streets and the nest alike. The victims were later found in the back streets as corpses. Animated corpses. The bodies are empty inside, I have no idea how they are able to move, but they kept walking anyway. They endlessly create for fresh things, <laughs> zombies, <laughs> as if it to fill their empty bodies. She was only designated as the star of the city so quickly because the nest saw direct harm, I bet. We've arrived at her bedroom at long last. So many people died on the way here. You and I managed to survive it though. Should we consider it that lucky or unlucky, mister? Check this out. How many people did it take to make everything here? I'm guessing at least 3,000 folks. Elena. The blood red knight Elena? It is the boudoir of 4,172 people. If you want the exact number. You must have made quite a bit of effort to catch me, seeing as you come all the way here. Sure as hell have. Took to them years to track you down. The strings decorating this room are all human blood vessels. She has been kidnapping people at random and extracting all the veins from their bodies. The things we dealt with on our way here were the shells you took all the veins out as expected. They were just crude contraptions of flash lacking their own will, unfortunately. It wasn't that I was looking for. I was hoping for ones whose veins were flowing with blood that's a little bit more mm, enticing. Whatever your sentiment is, your little game ends now. Tonight, a star of the city shall fall. Well, that's, that's such a cool sentence, right? Tonight, a star of the city shall fall. Well, that's what Mirina said. And then she died. She's a rather persistent opponent. We're almost there. Hey, watch your back. Ah, you didn't have to. Oh, so sweet. You damn. This won't be the last you see of me. The night shall fall once again. Someday. Shut up and die. People try not to care about the suffering of others. They only give a few dry words of consolation. They never wish to truly understand each other's pain. But Angelica was different. She wanted to learn more about the pain I was bearing. My agony is abstract and enormous. Could you really understand me? Oh, sorry. Hey, Angelica, can you hear me? You're like those who never left the sad fireside corner of my poor black heart. More poetry. It's finally over. Good work, mister. Keep it together. Hey, you can't just die like this. I can't have you die because of me. Don't close your eyes. Stay with me. Cut it out, you dope. I'm not dead yet. What? I was just trying to lie flat and rest a bit. Oh, boy. Well, he finally showed he cared. And then you almost beat me to that. Thank goodness. Are you actually relieved or what? It's hard to tell what you're thinking behind that mask, mister. It's time to take the mask off, Roland. I'm wearing this mask because I don't want to show my face to anyone. I was not proud to face the abominable deaths of the city I'm contributing to. I don't want my contorting face to be seen. I don't have the confidence to show myself to anyone. Sometimes I think, uh, if we can kill so many people nonchalantly just because associations and offices ordered us to excuse and take us a part of our work, then we could be killed by someone with the same kind of excuses. Even if we were to get murdered in the city one day, we wouldn't be able to make any complaints about it. That's what makes me scared. 
Yep, that's a problematic facial, right? I guess you're finally very worried for me, though. It's bearable to look at. Ah, my face, it hurts. I don't get why you care so much about all the problems in the city, like that's your burden. That's that, and this is this, you know? Oh boy, that's where that sentence comes from. That's that, and this is this. So every time he says this, he remembers Angelica. That's that, and this is this. Yeah, I guess that's how the city is. The person who broke into my world. The person who then became the new foundation of my world. She showed me the way to turn away from the city's agonies even without my mask. You may have been a good person, but I would not consider you a wise one. You heard about the pain I was bearing and taught me how to turn a blind eye to it. You said you embraced the pain, but you only pretended to do so. Oh, my sorrow, you're better than Avel, beloved. Have you enjoyed your dream? Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, right, of course. Uh, I totally forgot that, that Roland's probably gonna distort here. I am, but one of the many who play the tunes of the apocalypse in the abyss. Come now. Right, well, oh, Bina's abnormalities are kind of annoying though. Once upon a time, three happy birds lived in a lush, dark forest. <sighs> Indeed, we should let him freely utter his sentiments first. Oh boy, let's remember this. <sighs> okay. Well... 20 minutes already. Well, that was quite a story, though. I liked it. Um, but let's see. A lamp that burns forever. Starting with the first scene, inflicts a random assisted librarian with enchanted every three scenes. More librarians are affected with subsequent occurrences. Darkness. Starting with the third scene, uses combat page darkness every three scenes. Sleepy eyes. Each time an ally is defeated, permanently gain five feeble in the storm. When all allies die, all stagger damage resistances change to fatal. Okay. So we has to have to poke its eyes out. What are these? Eyeball check. On clash lose, gain bind, inflict for bind, inflict for bind. Right. I forgot to give battle ready to her. So that's not really good. On play, gain one strength and deal two more damage and stagger damage. Restore one light, draw one page. I like this one. <laughs> this is so interesting. Target ally restores one light. Okay. Not very useful in the first turn though. Dazzled. Target's big bird. Last two scenes. Uncontrollable. Speed is fixed one. Use a special combat page targeting Roland. Takes no physical damage when hit by allies. Removed when the character is staggered. Salvation. If the target is enchanted, kill them instantly. Okay. Starting with the first scene, inflict a random assistant librarian with enchanted, with enchanted every three scenes. More librarians are affected with subsequent. So one, two, two, three. So more and more of people. Okay. And then somebody has to fight that. Okay, that's fine. There's no reason to attack it, so we have to poke its eyes out, literally. Well, that can be arranged. Uh, they are weak to peers. Good thing I dropped Alan out of the group, right? F my luck, really. Um, <laughs> but we have Bina now. See, let's speed die our target for next scene. Oh, that's good. 
Taket's current die can't be recycled. Still, too much to be able to go for it. It's also ineffective, so we just leave it alone. But somebody has to grab that, but somebody can. So you can, with concentration probably, right? So you don't take as much damage. Yeah, I think that's good. She's enchanted, has to target the big bird. Yeah. Okay. And then everyone else I have here. Well, I don't really have that much, to be honest. Each time an ally is defeated permanently again. Okay, starting with the third scene, uses the combat page darkness every three scene. No idea what that is, though. Five feeble and disarm. Okay, it's gonna get weaker with time. Okay, well, we pick one of this and go for it, I guess. I don't want my characters to be inflicted with the bind. That's fine, though. That's okay. So only this one here, I guess. I don't want this one to go through. Nah. If I didn't have anyone with a speed of 5 or more, Nikola here would just straight up die, which is like... Not a really good feeling, to be honest. I kind of don't have to use these right now. Because I can play that. Who's gonna take this on, though? 6 to 10? That's a good question, isn't it? Think, let me think. I could do defense, but it's gonna evade that and then it's gonna lose against that, right? Yeah, that's not good. It's hard to remember. We wish I could check what I have in there, but like nothing to go six six to ten on the second one, I guess. I mean I could take the bind. Seems kind of scary though. Hmm. Yeah, it's very scary. Who's very fast? I don't really have a fast person right now. Mm. Um. Drone page, Storm Light. Gain one strength, deal two more damage and stagger damage. I mean, I could draw cards here, right? Yeah, let's draw cards. <laughs> of course I drew that, right? Um, I'm not happy about that. Time to give some people some strength. Uh, let's slow her down, I guess.
And here, uh, let's go with the slashing stats. And here. Well, actually, oh, we're staggered. Oh, that's not good. Maybe concentration was not the best choice there. Yeah, we might have to restart this. Oops. Well, one of them is dead, so almost. Yep. Now we'll see how it goes. Oh, it's staggered now, so you can't attack. Oh, but wait, what? It's not staggered anymore? Why? Uh... Yeah, I don't get it. Oh, no salvation. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. A feeble disarmed. Okay, it's not gonna be as dangerous anymore. Right. Ooh, the true trigram formation. But what do we have? A bunch of strength. Oh, I forgot to use the prescript. Oh, it was restore one light, so it didn't really matter. We can restore one light here. There we go. Uh. Hmm. Draw one page, right. So we just don't attack it this time, and that's totally fine then. Intense stare. Forces target to attack this character next scene unless target is enchanted. Ah, okay, okay. Well, this is a really hard fight because I only had three librarians. It was annoying as heck. It's really weird. Something something weird happened here. I think Nikolai should be who should be staggered. I think a bug happened. I mean Nikolai is definitely staggered. I'm not gonna use it. Okay, I think Nicholas should be staggered. I think there was a bug, so I'm gonna just leave it alone. Okay, so we got three people then. Um, that's such a weird thing. Okay, on hit. Okay, let's not get hit by that then. Okay, I'm gonna vapor it. There we go. Gain two bind. Doesn't really matter, does it? Inflict 4 bind. And again, I don't really have anything to fight these binds. Mm. I forgot to play that. Good job, Neo. Good job. <laughs> Star one light. I think with her, we're gonna gain strength here. There we go. And play this. So what do we have? Geon. All dice gain plus one power. Eh, it's so so actually. I'd rather play this to draw a whole bunch of cards next turn maybe. Well no, we can restore light. Ah, I see. I could play another Celestial Spear. It's a lot of extra strength. No, I mean the Augury Kick. Um, what emotion level are we? One, so we need 
three hits. Well, this one can actually win against that, right? Yeah, I think that's good, actually. And I'm in a little bit of a problem. Actually, I'm not. We're gonna level up here. So let's just brace up and grab. Let's go for that one. There we go. So this thing, inflict four, bind next scene. That's fine, bind there is fine. And I'm not using Nicola on purpose here because I think he should be staggered. Even the animation looks like he's staggered. Nine to twenty. Um, I think we just kill try to kill one of these. I put a little bit too much on one of them again. Maybe. Right, let's see. Yeah. Well. I'm gonna poke its eyes out and then I'm gonna kill it, I think. <laughs> so far, so good. There we go. Uh, whenever this library and place rules take. Okay, no. If it, is the, if it dies, gain 1 to 2 power. Watchful eyes. Hmm. Fully restore the selecting librarian's light. Each scene, a random ally gains no light, while the select librarian restores one additional light. Hmm. I wanted to think where we force the enemy to attack us. If eight dies, gain one to power. But who do we give this to, if we give it? Shaw? <laughs> but I didn't use my powerful moves. <laughs> Probably maybe I should have. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to the Violet because she's the most like uh, the most flexible. I'm gonna make her strong. Darkness, there we go. Mass summation, unused, inflict darkness on all characters, including self this scene. I have no idea what darkness does though. Bite off. Okay, this is a really bad turn to attack it. Well, these are 15 to 15 now, so it's not that bad. Well, I need to defend against that, right? Well, it's only 15, but still. Augury kick. Uh, yeah, let's take less damage. And let's see. If one protection and stagger protection, we're gonna give it to Bina because she can't heal. And we're gonna play. We're gonna play Augury Kick and Celestial Steel uh, Spear here. Let me just see. This one, okay, this one 13, 14 with that. Should be enough, right? 15 to 15. Oh, no, wait. Feeble. So that's really, like, that's not gonna do anything. Okay. Give 
good. Uh, here. You. Gain one endurance. Sure. On use, give three protection to all allies this scene. Yeah, sure, why not? Just in case. Oh, but then we can't play anything else. Eh. Um, what happens if I do a mass attack? I'll do it. Does mass attack defend against this thing? Let's find out. No. <laughs> Not there. Well, maybe. I think we are queuing too many things though. Oh no, it is 15. Wait, what? 15 does not affect mass attacks? That's not something I expected. And it seems like now we are all in the dark for some reason. Let's see what this does it do. Unrelated... Oh, that's why. Unaffected by power related effects for one scene. I think darkness is why it wasn't affected, okay. Uh, that's pretty bad. It rolled two sixes, so it's gonna kill somebody now. Hmm. Maybe I should have locked it. Well, I'm very sorry, Nikolai. I just didn't roll enough. Uh, and this will also hurt Bina a lot. Target is enchanted, kill them instantly. Yeah, maybe I could have played it better. I don't know. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? Why is that going to her? She's not enchanted. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, that's good. Uh, then we just protect... Uh, no. There. We just protect Nikolai then. Okay, I almost made a horrible mistake there. And we don't do anything else right now. I mean, I can gain some light if I want to, which might not be the worst idea. What's the last card? Defense. I mean, we're gonna get staggered, right? But I want some light. 
will not get staggered. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I mean, can I defend? Not really. I mean, let's give ourselves. Pro no, actually, let's give her. There we go. That's for me, right? Oh, let's use it now so we get all of them back. The one page. I think that's very useful right now. Okay. No, wait, what? But didn't I like change the target with Bina? So we need this thing, right? Okay. I think we can finish this with four though. Probably. What the heck happened though? Chanted. Okay, uh, let's go there. Is this my strongest attack though? Yeah, I'm not sure what I did wrong. I thought I took the Nicolas. I took hers, right? Oh boy, I took the wrong one. Should have taken the Nicolas and let the one to go to her go through. <laughs> I targeted the wrong thing. Oh well, happens I guess. I don't think I have to play it. Kind of want to heal here. That's okay. Let's get some chart. Oh, let's see. Do that and let's do. I don't know. Yeah, this thing's really weird, a weak mouse, so I was just gonna go through it like butter. It doesn't see anything, we poke its eyes out, so it's like easy peasy now. Still, we have only four people left, kind of messed up. <laughs> Killed it with dazed. Big Bird, with its many eyes, decided to watch over the forest for intruders. Why, why does that go away so fast, though? I would suggest you're faithfully to present moment rather than worry about the future. Well, I'm very worried. And I have no idea why we cannot use our light. Misdeeds not allowed. Offensive dice gain plus 50 power when clashing against offensive dice. Where's the cage? If the card takes damage, inflicts punishment. In punishment mode, the number of speed dice decreases to 5 for one scene and uses a special combat page against the cards that attacked him last. Also, all stagger damage resistance has changed to fatal. Okay. When Roland is in punishment mode, gain vigilance every two scenes and switch between attack and defense modes each scene. Chase away. When Roland is in punishment mode, enter attack mode for the scene. Force keep prepared to target his target character. Speed is fixed. Offensive dice gain plus 2 power. Roast. HP does not go below 1. When HP drops 1, go into dormant state and awaken 3 scenes with full HP and stagger resist. 
Okay, how are we supposed to do this then? So we have to stagger these, then hit Roland. Yeah, I'm actually not sure what I'm supposed to do here. I mean, we can steal some dice, but... This is definitely a problem. Plus 50 power when clashing against offensive dice. Well... I can use mass attacks to kill it. That's true. I mean, that works, right? This is not gonna be the clash. I mean, it will enter offensive mode, but... Punishment mode, I wanna say. Oh no, this will actually... Will it? Will this trigger... This is not a single... This is not a one-sided attack, so this should not trigger the counter dice. Famous last words. On heat, break a sealed door of the target. A speed die of the target. Well, that's... Uncomfortable. How do we defeat the second one? That's the question. With this? Sure. Prescript. Target draws one card. Uh, that's interesting, actually. It's very interesting. play that. Before we play that, we have to play that so we can actually afford it. And then... I'm not sure. I think I don't... Well, I do have these, so... Okay, let's play that. Okay. I 
can play that and something else, but next turn I want to be like a powerhouse, not this one. So. Well, let's see how that goes. So far, so good. <laughs> uh, that ring roll for 15? Why do they hit for so much? Like, what's up with that? Okay, now it goes punishment mode. All dice game on power again, and with higher speed. If target HP is 25% lower, destroy all their dice upon winning clash. Okay, the burn attack deal bonus damage, put them all seen the pass without. Okay. Oh, that's good. After attacking the enemy with the most HP, recover the HP of the ally with the least HP by 2 to 8. I like that. Punishment mode time. Okay, this. This one doesn't have dice, this one is staggered, so... Break all dice on target's page and stagger target. Okay, that's really bad. Okay. Okay, now it doesn't have counter dice, so now we can like mess it up, right? Okay, uh, that doesn't do anything. That okay, we just want to win against that. Easy peasy. Well, no. Oh, I just have to use a defensive die here. Yeah, I just need a defensive die, so I can use this. Okay, and then... It might hit though, it might hit. It's probably gonna hit, actually. <laughs> uh, wait, but... Take plus, okay. But somebody else can grab that, so... Right? Yeah. No punishment allowed. Oof, two more. Mm. Okay. I mean, I guess we use sturdy defense. It get we get staggered if we lose, though. Five to twelve. Okay, let's see what we have here. Um, give one strength. Throws a page. What could we possibly draw here that would help with this situation? Yeah, I need to... Uh, <laughs> I need sturdy defense here, basically. But these are trees, so... fast are you guys? Break all dice. And stagger target. I don't want to get staggered. So we got one smack. 
two smacks. Well, this will stagger on three. We're already getting staggered on three, so I don't care. Is this a ranged attack? Are there any ranged attacks here? No. I did a good job on these two, though, so that's I'm happy about. Um, right, things are actually looking pretty good. Uh, I think we just kill it, right? I think that's even way too much. You could grab that, I guess. There we go. Will this be enough? I mean, <laughs> yes, should be. I mean, this alone will do like 30 damage, right? 30 stagger damage. Thirty more. A bit more. I mean, two, five. Trigrams are so powerful. Okay, let's see if I mess something up. No, this is just happening. So the whole mechanics of this fight changed completely. Okay. <laughs> well, this one wasn't too hard with four people. Pretty unfortunate the first one, but first one is usually the hardest because of the how the whole thing works. So. Uh, after taking damage, the first die of the first page, the Baron's. Uses next thing gains 2 to 4 power, no. All dice gain plus 1 power against enemies with higher speed. The Labyrinth attacks deal bonus damage equal to the number of scenes that pass without the Labyrinth taking damage from attacks. Max is 10. That's really interesting. know what let's try it out <laughs> okay uh, right should be too hard here what's happening here oh right no did I play two ominous powers I didn't play two ominous powers I mean, this is a bug. I mean, I was on zero, so I did this, this. Yeah, so I, I, I'm I on one light, but uh, the violet took one light from me. So this one should be orange, but the, the rest of it, it's like bugged, shouldn't be showing like that. Okay. All right, so now we just go and kill it, right? With this one, we also heal with this. Oh, by the way, this is like a continual fight. Okay, you have Mind Howler. You don't have anything. Yeah, Bina's pretty messed up. We can heal her, but we cannot unstagger her. Um, I think the safest bet is not to do anything crazy right now. Uh... 
So we just defend against these, finish it off, try not to get things too complicated. Inflict one paralysis, blah blah blah. How much is this? 8 max? This is 4 to 8. Plus 2, 6 to 10. Yeah, I ha don't have enough smoke, that's the problem, right? Another one of those. I don't want my bind and paralysis next scene. Especially not on her. I mean, I can brace here. Well, bind... This one doesn't care about bind and paralysis too much, right? We have the lit lamp. And there. And that's also gonna draw some cards. Although I did wanna smoke up. Okay, let's smoke up. Do we actually go there with that? This thing we have to like defeat. We have plus six strength though, so just brace. Okay, one attack still going here. Three to eight. This might not be enough damage, to be honest. That scares me. Okay. It probably would be, but you never know. Yeah, it would be. And we still have to deal with these, okay. Small bird decided to punish the creature's wrongdoings with its beak. Okay. Mark of Sin. Oh, I remember this one. Um. I think I'm gonna make a cut here and finish tomorrow. So, yeah, but so far it's going well with four people. <laughs> I have a child now, like being all like trans Kuja mode. So, yeah, anyhow, that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, I think I can do it. If not, I'll figure something out. It'll like change cards a little bit to accommodate. Uh, this one, I remember not being too hard. Not sure. It's gonna be harder with four people, but I'm also a little bit more powerful since I have the motion and everything. So effectively, I have like five or six people right now because of all the extra dice, so it should be okay. Anyhow, if you're enjoying my playthrough of Library of Ruina, like and subscribe. In the meantime, I wish you all to have a wonderful day. Do something nice. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. The Numer signing out. Bye-bye.